aplikasi Waze telah hadir di Indonesia sejak 2013 lalu. Perkembangannya termasuk cepat dan signifikan. Tercatat, saat ini ada sekitar 14 juta pengguna aktif Waze setiap bulannya. Pada 2017, Waze menjanjikan banyak fitur baru yang lebih ramah bagi pengguna di Indonesia. Seperti pengaturan suara navigasi berbahasa Indonesia, navigasi jalur ganjil genap khusus bagi yang tinggal di Jakarta, serta rekam suara navigasi pribadi. Where are you going? How's the development in ways from time to time until right now? It's been a really fascinating time. So I was here for the launch of Ways in Indonesia in 2013, and it was it was very small. Uh, and now I, I mentioned that we're already at uh, more than two million drivers mm -hmm. just in Jakarta. And in this last mudik, we had 14 million people that were navigating with Waze uh, mm -hmm. during that travel season. So the growth has been phenomenal, uh, partly because of our community, uh, partly because I feel like uh, in general in Indonesia, there's a great response to community-driven um, products, and partly because of our partners. We have a lot of great partners here. And what is the latest uh, Waze update? Two big things. Uh, one is related to the odd even restriction policy. Uh, and this basically means that based on your last digit of your license plate number, it dictates in Jakarta where you can drive on what days of the week. Uh, the community told us that it was very good policy mm -hmm. for reducing travel or travel time but that uh, it was difficult to navigate across the city. So we announced today that we're going to be the first app that allows Indonesians wow. to drive according to their license plate number. And then, of course, the other thing we launched today is even if we can try to get people out of traffic and save time, it's impossible to avoid it altogether mm -hmm. in a vibrant place like, like the cities in, in Indonesia. Uh, and so we tried to make it, um, make it more fun and more locally relevant. So the other thing we launched today is uh, it's the first country we've ever done this, a full Indonesia voice wow. suite. So we now have a new voice called Dian, mm -hmm. nothing to do with me. <laughs> and, uh, and it's got smarter text to speech and street names and all of that. There's also Bahasa Indonesia voice commands. So you can literally say without even touching the phone, go home, report mm -hmm. traffic, and it will work. But then the really, really big one is that you can record your own voice prompt ah, now. Great. So 17,000 islands, many different dialects, many different languages. Now you can record your own and share it with your friends and family ah, and fans. Okay. Kali ini saya akan mencoba fitur rekam suara navigasi pribadi. Kita harus belok kiri. Dan saya berhasil merekam di fitur baru ini. Fitur navigasi rekam suara pribadi ini membuat perjalanan anda yang macet menjadi lebih menyenangkan. Parah cuy, itu permacet banget. Fitur kedua yang saya coba adalah suara navigasi berbahasa Indonesia. Fitur ini dapat menghasilkan suara yang jelas dan tidak berbelit sehingga membuat pengalaman berkendara Anda semakin nyaman. Dalam 300 meter, belok kiri. Fitur selanjutnya adalah sistem navigasi jalur ganjil genap yang memang dirancang khusus untuk daerah ibu kota Jakarta. Sayang, fitur ini sepertinya belum tersedia walaupun Anda menggunakan perangkat iOS maupun Android. Secara keseluruhan, aplikasi Waze memang sangat membantu pengendara untuk menghindari kemacetan maupun mencari arah tujuan. Namun, hal penting yang harus diingat pengguna adalah tetap berhati-hati. Jangan sampai penggunaan aplikasi justru membuat kita ceroboh dalam berkendara. Review Pradipta, Jakarta.